You know, normally it's CarMax one on one, but today it's CarMax one of one. Shaq's magic career, it was only four seasons, but in one of those seasons, when you beat Michael Jordan in the playoffs and have the rest of this, it's a heck of a run. Four time All Star, Rookie of the Year, went to the finals against the Rockets. Two broken backboards, which I think we've all seen thousands of times. And 27, 12, and 3 is pretty darn special. And we are joined by him now. Shaquille O'Neal, it is only fitting that your number 32 goes to the Rafters 32 years after you were drafted by this team. I'm just curious, brother. You're walking around Orlando. What memories are coming back to you? Well, they had a ring of honor uh, ceremony a couple years ago. I thought that was to the extent of you know, them recognizing what I've done in Orlando. I was not uh, expecting this to be one of three players that have your jersey retired in three different places. You know, definitely an honor. You know, if I had two wishes today, three. Wish my father would be here. Would, would wish Mr. DeVos was here. Wish my baby sister would be here. But, you know, I was a 20-year-old kid. Uh, my, my best friend, Dennis Scott, taught me how to be a professional. It was funny. I stayed in the airport Hilton for 45 days because I didn't know what a realtor was. I didn't know how to buy a house. I didn't know how to buy an apartment. My bill was 960000 because it was me and my whole family. Yeah, we stayed in the airport Hilton. And D. Scott, found I was in town, picked me up, introduced me to a realtor, showed me how to be a professional, showed me where to go, showed me how to handle certain situations. So, uh, I owe a lot to this organization. I wouldn't have wanted to. I, I wouldn't want to have started my career anywhere else. But you know, for them to turn on my jersey, I, you know, it's crazy. I, I would have went with Nick Anderson first. You know, Nick Anderson does a lot for, for the community. You know, he's, he's the first player. Uh, you know, the, the first big name here in Orlando, and him and D. Scott and Scott Skiles. You know, they sacrificed a lot. When I came here, they turned the reins over to a 20-year-old kid, and then we brought Penny all the way. And we was on our way, but I would have went without Nick Anderson first. Shaq, man, VC here. Being a Florida boy, obviously, when the Magic got here, watching your dominance, the things that you've done over the years, I rooted for the Magic. I don't know if you remember Nick. You spoke of used to come. I'm pick trying me to up. sound professional and ask the damn question, Vince. <laughs> Shut up. Moving your hands and stuff. Just ask the question, Vince. Jeez. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you, <used to> come, <laughs> you can't be like this right now. Always Shaq. But you used to come pick me up and play, and you know, obviously, you've always been a person. Uh, you know, obviously, my neighbor. I still don't uh, won't forgive you for toilet paper in my house, but. <laughs> what's it what's it like man I know what it what's it like for me hearing that your jersey is going up in the rafters what's it like for you man like you know I mean it's, this is forever man out of all this the ceremonies out of all, all, all the ceremonies this is the most exciting and let me tell you why at LSU I knew what's going to happen because you know the, the Dean uh, Joe Dean at the time said hey man you're one of our greatest players if you come back and get your degree you're going to retire your jersey so I knew it was going to happen. The Lakers, I kind of forced it to happen because I wanted my name to be up there. Orlando, me playing four, here, playing here four years, going to the finals once, going to the ring of ceremony and that being it and nobody else having their jersey retired. I never thought this day would happen. It means a lot. There's a lot of pl great players that, that played here, including you, Vince, uh, Grant Hill, Penny Hardaway, T-Mac, Nick, D. Scott. So, you know, to, to, to be the first is definitely an honor. Shaq, Jamal, we always talk about you being a one-on-one -on -one and the most dominant ever. How would you compare your Orlando Magic version of yourself to the other dominant versions, the Laker version, obviously, and the Heat version? How's the Orlando Magic version compare? Well, here I was 20. I was slim. I ran the court. You know, when I got to L.A., uh, you know, I had to learn how to slow down at times. I, I was full speed, and I would kind of, you know, get get tired in the fourth quarter. So, you know, you know, talking to guys like Dominique, like, you know, how I always talk about guys should have seven points a quarter. I remember one time playing against Dominique, and I was trying to score real early. He was like, big fella, you need to slow it down, seven points a quarter. So I had to learn how to pace myself. But when I was here, I was, I was flying. I was running because I had a point guard that, was super, super unselfish. You know, he, he would definitely look for you, Penny Hardaway, come out. He would look for you before he looked for himself. So, you know, in order to stay away from the double and triple teams, I tried to outrun guys and get down court. 
because I know Penny was going to find me. I know Deuce Scott was going to find me. When I went to other places, I had to, you know, slow it down a little bit. Shaq, Candace Parker here. Oh, no, um, Mike. Don't. I know who, you're, who you are, Queen Candace. <laughs> Congratulations, first and foremost. It's so well-deserved. I think uh, an entire generation grew up watching you just dominate. And I think as a big at that time, being able to run the floor, do the things you did, break backboards, play defense, switch out, handle the rock. Let me ask you this. One, why did you pick number 32 to wear? And two, you think Orlando Magic Shaq would have been running transition in today's game and dishing and assisting in the ways that we're seeing Giannis do? So to answer your first question, coming up, Patrick Ewan was my favorite player. I wore 33 in high school, wore 33 in LSU. I wanted to be the next Patrick Ewan. So when I get to Orlando, I was promised 33, but there was a player here named Terry Catlett. Terry Catlett. And when I came to the locker room, he said, big fella, I'm not giving up my, my, my jersey unless you give me 150,000 cash. So Orlando wasn't paying anything, so I definitely didn't have the 150,000 cash back then. So I was like, you know what? I'll just take 32. I'm only making 40 million for seven years. I don't have 150,000 cash. So I, I just wore 32, but I was upset. But I can remember the time where it wasn't talked about. Nobody knew who I was. My mother, Dr. Lucille O'Neill, said this to me, and it still ring, rings with me today. Make them remember your name. So every time I played, I wanted to put on the show. I wanted people to scream my name, and I wanted to be recognized as one of the most dominant big men ever. Shaq, you hear from us all the time. We do have a message from one of your former teammates. He had to get in some words. Take a listen. You know, big fella, this is Kenny, man. I just want to say from me to you, brother, I love you. I thank you for everything that you did for me. Without you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been in Orlando originally. To be able to play with you, man, to have my game go to another level, the first team all NBAs, because of you going to the finals in my early career, putting me on the map in the NBA, all those things, man, how much better you made me. I'm forever indebted and grateful to you. And congratulations on your jersey retirement. Only way to do it, man. Congrats. There you go, big fella. Thank you. All right, we're going to hear Shaq on the call. Shaq, have a great game. Don't mess up, Shaq. Yeah, don't mess don't up, mess bro. Up. A lot and of Vince, pressure. Stop move, and Vince, stop moving your damn hands when you talk. You make me nervous. <laughs> hey, tell him that chair got, <laughs> tell that chair got, got lighter, chair. Tell him that chair got lighter, Tell that chair got lighter. See you, Shaq. Uh, we'll hear from Shaq, Stan Van Gundy, and our guy Kevin Harlan coming up next. Okay, get in on all the NBA buzzer beaters, ankle breakers, and tomahawk jams with FanDuel, America's number one sports People book. Still betting, still betting, still betting. Hey, still betting with them. Right now, new customers get <laughs> 150 in bonus bets when your first $5 bet wins. Download the FanDuel sportsbook app now and start making every moment more. I'm only allowed to bet overs for left leftovers. So I went with the late game because I'm expecting more points in Suns Kings. I got Busher Dishon, Booker Dishon. You got who Dishon? I have Bur Durant you scoring. Have I have Sabonis rebounding and Phoenix winning. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay. I don't because I only have Dave the Busher Dishon. I don't know. All right, that. it's Devin Booker. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so I got Booker. I I did like the magic in this game. I just think there's going to be a lot of good defense, and so I wanted to do overs in the second game. Okay. Good. I like your strategy. Thank you. If I were to bet. Which but you I, do not. But I do not. But you do not. You sure? Yep. Uh, so he toilet papered your house? Yes. What? And a week later is when he actually accidentally toilet How much toilet paper? All the front yard. Did All it yard. rain? Did it rain? You ain't no. got no gates? Okay, good, 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 good. No. You ain't got no see, gates? No. So Shaq, you're telling oh, you me you your entire house is covered in toilet in paper. Guys. And then how did you find out it was he him? He said, oh, man, it's messed up how somebody did that, but nobody knew. And yeah. he started laughing and gave it away. Oh. You see, you got to get some cameras, man. This was, but it, did you get him back? This is a long time ago. Yeah, did, did you, you get him back? You can't get it. You, you can't get it. Here, you say, Buy it's ring. hard to get over there. Get some yeah. rings. <laughs> <laughs> this is our big game coming up next. So it is Oklahoma City and the Orlando Magic. Kevin Harlan, Stan Van Gundy, Shaq on the call. We will have that game and we will see Hello, you all star. Double duty doing double duty that weekend, huh? All star. 206.